So the exhibition features a series of works by Laurie Nix. This is one in particular that we used a lot because I think it's absolutely stunning. What can you tell us about this work and the rest of the series? These works come from a series called The City by Laurie Nix and I was interested in including them again because like Heather and Ivan Morrison's work, they dealt with things of an apocalypse. And Laurie Nix is based in New York but is Kansas born and a lot of the influence of her work comes from the man-made and natural disasters that she grew up around. Um, she's actually a model maker and photographer and each of these works is built first as a model, photographed and then destroyed so that the photograph is the only legacy that remains. She tends to use um, models of municipal or communal spaces, libraries, stations, museums, galleries. Um, but there's another work here actually as well that, um, that features a, a control room. Um, so it's both public spaces and very, very private ones that we wouldn't usually be allowed into. Um, the idea is that, of course, that we put all our trust in, in individuals and technology that may, um, that may then come to unseat us. Um, the other thing about these works is that they, like Heather and Ivan Morrison, um, they take their influence from other cultural media. So, um, as with the Morrisons and, and their literature, uh, these works often look like film sets. And so they, they reference films like The Day After Tomorrow or um, even, even model making of the mid 20th century, things like Thunderbirds. Because how big are these when they're, before they get destroyed, how big does she They're fairly sizable, they're at least a metre tall, um, which can be surprising because they look so delicate. But it is really only when you get up close that you can tell that there's something not quite right about them, that they are not real life. <laughs>